welcome back to my channel and today I'm at the seashore and I love the breeze it's very good it's not that cold or that warm it's just regular and I like I like the waves how they're sounding because that makes me feel peaceful all right so today I'm gonna read you Diver Wimpy Kid Dog Days so what what happened in the story is that Greg Greg's mom tells her tells him to go outside and play because it's summertime. But Greg was telling his story what happened before. So what happened before after summer every day they went to school and Rowley and his friend Rowley, he they were both going to the beach, like a country club. So they were going there every day, every single day after school shut down. And one time they invited a lady and she forgot who invited them because she was talking to a lifeguard. And another problem is Greg is so, so mean. So what happens is that he says that they didn't put the tiny umbrellas in his drink. But he told them to Mr. Jefferson, which is Raleigh's dad, and then Raleigh's dad didn't even complain to the manager of the country club. So that wasn't it. After a few days, Raleigh said that he, he couldn't go to the country club anymore, and Greg was like, oh, I'm fine with it. So after a few days, he was going, he wanted to go to the beach, and something happened because he didn't like to go to the beach because the snack bar always over there is so it's so trashy and there's too much trash and flies and the snack bar is literally out of control you can see over here and they have showers in the beach so you can take a shower before you go in the water and Greg didn't like it when he goes through the shower because he says Oh, it is so embarrassing if I do that when I'm a grown up. So when, so they went to the beach and Greg, and everybody thinks that Greg is afraid of the waves, but it's not all it. He, he actually said that, I realized a long time ago that all the world's fish and turtles and whales go to the bathroom right in the beach. So that's why whenever the tide is high, like it is right now, the tide is high, and he's afraid of it because he, all the animals go poop in there and he doesn't want to step in it. And another thing that he likes the beach is about the cranium shaker. The cranium shaker is something that Roderick went on when he was in middle school. And, he, and Roderick said, you can't call yourself a man until you ride it. So Greg was old enough to ride it, so one day uh, he was going to ask his mom to go to the beach, but she said, we'll go after a few days, and then uh, she, he said, oh, oh, fine. So one day, there's this comic called Little Cutie, and, and he never mentioned it to anyone because because he doesn't even know anyone that knows Little Petey. Cutie, actually. So he, Greg and Greg's dad don't like it. Don't like the comic because this is how, you know. Greg says, look at this garbage. And Greg's dad says, give me that. So Little Cutie, so he says Little Cutie has been around for at least 30 years and it's written by this guy named Bob Post. And he says, I've heard Little Cutie is based on Bob's son when he was a little kid. So this is Bob, Bob Post. And this is his son when they were little. So their son said, if I eat this green bean, will it mommy and daddy be sad? So this is the, all the words that he says. He puts it on a comic right here. So this one says, daddy, is brain just God sweating? So that's the comic that he made. So it's not like a full comic like this entire book is, but it is kind of. So 
what happens after that is Bob Post's son grows up and then Bob Post re is retiring so he wants to write one last comic but his son, he doesn't have anything to say. So that's, so that's why he was retiring. And the final Little Cutie is going to be printed in August. The last Little Cutie comic. So they have something in common that they don't like Little Cutie. But they have something in difference. Like a difference. So Greg likes to stay up and whenever Greg's dad says, oh, wake up Greg. But then when he goes to work, he calls Greg every afternoon. Uh, so he knows that he's awake. So Greg keeps his so Greg keeps his phone right next to right next to his drawer because he never knows when his dad is gonna call him. And Greg's mom is kind of like you know a happy person, and she tells him she tells Greg's dad what's going out through the day. And this is what she said uh, on one day when he was in a meeting. He said. She said, guess what Manny? Guess what Manny did in the party today? Guess, guess! So that was kind of embarrassing for Greg's dad because everyone was listening. Uh, on Tuesday, uh, this was Roderick's first time trying peas. Peas are disgusting, but he liked it. Roderick's second time trying peas. And this is Roderick's first steps and kaboom. So after a little while, in after a few days actually, Greg invited Rowley to a sleepover, but they were they were watching a movie called Hello, You're Dead. So when they were so when they were watching it all finished half the movie they were they were actually they were literally scared so greg said about one in the morning we heard some something in the furnace room that scared the living daylights out of us it sounded like a ghost girl or something it said it said i'm hiding can you find me but when greg and rally woke up greg he woke up greg's dad so the, Greg's dad just just said, oh, I'm coming. But then he said, it, I'm, I'm hurrying, all right? So after that, Greg said, I'm pretty sure dad wasn't gonna get out of there alive. I heard some rustling and a few bumps, but and I was ready to, to make a run for it. But then Greg's dad, he came back with one of Manny's toys, a doll named Hide and Seek Harry. He said, Peekaboo! Last night, me and Raleigh waited for mom and dad to go to bed, and then we watched our movie. Technically, I was the only one who watched it because Raleigh had his eyes closed and ears the entire time. So, so it's about this crawling hand, it's a mud hand, and then Whatever Vic, whatever person it sees, it kills them. The fur, it never stops searching for them. But Greg said the special effects were really cheesy and I wasn't even scared until the very end. After the movie was finished, Greg told Rally what happened. And they were scared. And Greg was also scared while he was telling the movie to Rally. So they spent the night in the bathroom because they were literally scared the muddy hand was going to come and kill them. So in the morning, Greg's dad found R Greg and Rowley in the bathroom, sleeping. So that's why Greg's dad didn't want to have Rowley over at weekends to have sleep nights because he's a trouble, he's a big trouble. And then mom, then Greg's mom said that she was going to start a reading club for all the boys in the neighborhood so she could teach us all about the great literature we were missing out on. Greg's, Greg, that 
it wasn't kind of Greg's thing, but then he said, oh, please just give me another punishment for not watching the movie, please. But then she said, I'm sorry, Greg, that's all. So, yes, tomorrow was the first meeting of the Reading is Fun Club. I, Greg said I felt kind of bad for all the boys whose mom made them come. And if they wanted to come, they would be smiling right now. So after, so after that, they all got their favorite books and then they, they were reading them out loud and then they wanted to get some more books and, and they were happily reading. So that, well, thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more videos. Thank you. Bye.